What's up, everybody? My name is Joe Brown. This is Heresy Financial. And today we are talking about the Silver Squeeze because it is working. And despite the lackluster performance in silver over the last couple of months, really nearing the last couple of years, do not be discouraged because the Silver Squeeze is working. The vaults are running out. The physical supply is running low. And that is the linchpin. That is the key to causing the squeeze, to causing the paper price to finally respond to the physical reality. And I'm going to explain why. Ready? Let's dive in. Last Friday in my weekly newsletter, I sent out this article from silverseek.com written by Ted Butler talking about a massive short position in silver held by Bank of America. Now, part of the problem with precious metals markets is the extreme lack of transparency. It is very difficult to understand who holds what and why, partly because of the delay in reporting. But even with this extreme lack of transparency, there are still many people who have done fantastic work to figuring out there's a big problem here. The vaults are running out, and if you don't buy your silver now, when it hits the fan, silver is going to explode to new highs that will eventually drive physical silver back onto the market because people will want to take profits on their physical silver. But during that time when the price is exploding, it will be so difficult to find actual physical silver and paper markets are just not gonna do it. That will drive the price much higher. So here's what's going on. Let's take a look at this article and you can see that 300 million ounces of silver were deposited into the silver ETF. Most of it went into SLV. And uh, there was speculation that that was uh, paper silver, that that was leased or borrowed from somewhere and uh, that it was mostly JP Morgan doing that. Since then, that silver supply has been drastically dwindled down. And especially if it was fake silver, especially if that was paper silver, the amount of physical silver that people are buying right now and taking delivery of it is putting tremendous strain on the vaults, which is a good sign for anybody who already has silver. Let's dig further. When you look at the further OCC reports that have come out and you look at the price action of silver, we can pretty much figure out that Bank of America was the one who originally did some shorting of silver to the tune of 800 million ounces. So the original 300 million ounce supply spike came from Bank of America as they shorted it. Now, just I need to explain just for anybody who doesn't understand what shorting is because there's a very precise definition. Shorting is when you borrow something and then you take what's borrowed, which you're going to owe back. You exchange that for something else. Many times when you exchange it for something else, that something else is dollars. It doesn't have to be. When you buy a house with a mortgage, you are borrowing dollars with the promise to pay them back and exchanging those dollars for a house. That is, by definition, shorting the dollar with a short position. Whatever you exchanged it for, you want that thing to rise in value at a faster pace than what you owe back. When you short the dollar by buying a house with a mortgage, you want the dollar to not rise in value faster than the house, and that would look like the price of the house falling down. You want the price of the house to rise faster so that it helps you pay off that debt. When the banks short silver, they are borrowing silver with a promise to pay silver back. That's key, not a dollar amount that uh, that is worth the amount of silver. They're promising to pay back a specific amount of silver regardless of what the price of that silver is. In this case, originally it was 300 million ounces. So Bank of America owes 300 million ounces of silver back. They're then taking that and they're exchanging it for something else. They're getting dollars in exchange for that. So they borrowed the silver and then they sold it and are keeping dollars. In between the time when they shorted 300 million ounces of silver and the time when they doubled down and did another 500 million, they got up to 800 million ounces, they were at a severe loss. The price of silver had risen in between that amount of time. When they shorted another 500 million ounces of silver to get up to a net 800 million ounce short silver position, they were silver was at a much higher price, meaning that right about now, at about $23 per ounce, Bank of America is flat on their position because they doubled down on their short when silver was higher. That means right about now, they don't have a paper loss. They don't have a paper gain. Guess what? 
this is a problem for them because when you double down on a short position with such a massive amount, keep in mind, 800 million ounces is just about the same amount that is produced in an entire year of silver production. So this is a big amount of silver that just Bank of America is short. What happens if the price of silver goes up by a dollar? They lose $800 million. For every $10, they lose 8 billion. And for a $100 move in silver, which is sounds, I understand, it sounds preposterous to a lot of people for silver to go up by $100, that would be an $80 billion loss for Bank of America. Now, two key things to understand about this short position. When you're short, in order to close out, you have to buy. That is the opposite side of the transaction. And that's what you have to do to close out that position. If the price of silver starts going up, that means they have to start becoming a buyer. And as they buy, they're closing out their position. They're turning those paper losses into realized losses. They are buying silver to pay that silver back. Because remember, they owe 800 ounces of silver, not a, not a dollar amount they don't owe. They owe the actual silver. So they have to close out that position by buying silver. That adds a tremendous amount of buying pressure to the market, which will contribute to the price skyrocketing up, which as they close out, that means they're making their losses worse, which which means they're gonna to have to close out their positions even faster and faster. This is the exact same dynamic that happened. A lot of you recognize, remember uh, GameStop, the short squeeze that happened with GameStop, the short squeeze that happened with AMC. This is what a short squeeze is. And as the vaults are drained down, as people like you and me are buying silver every day, every week, every month, and taking physical delivery, at a certain point, you get to a place where nobody's able to buy silver at the paper prices anymore because there's not the physical in the vault. If we take delivery, eventually it breaks the markets. The short game can't continue forever if everything leaves the vaults and there's no physical left to continue to be leased. The second thing to be aware of here is that this likely won't cause any long-term problems to Bank of America because if it gets so bad that it presents a, uh, a loss big enough to Bank of America that it would threaten their you know solvency, well, they're gonna get a bailout. They're not gonna be allowed to go under, most likely because back in the financial crisis, they were forced by the government to purchase Merrill Lynch and perform the bailout for Merrill Lynch because they were quite honestly, one of the only ones who had the ability to do so, even though they did not want to. So they did it and there is an implicit understanding that they are front in line next time there is a crisis, next time they need help, the government will be there to uh, you know, return the favor basically because the government didn't wanna to have to bail out Merrill Lynch as well. So again, a lot of this data is very opaque. The market is not transparent at all. And so some of these numbers could be severely off. I could be very wrong. It does look to me like the price of silver is going to to skyrocket high very soon here. These squeeze will get started some point soon. And if it does, it will be triggered by everybody taking physical delivery. But I could be very wrong, so don't take my word for it. And if you are looking for the best places and ways to buy silver, I've got my uh, recommended resources with affiliate links in the description below. As always, thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.